Today we are going through a 1972 horror thriller called What the Peeper Saw. At the beginning of the movie, we see a woman named Sarah who dies of an electric shock while turning off the water tap in the bathtub. Then, we see a girl named Elise who is Paul's second wife after Sarah. Elise has the responsibility to look after his house and his son. She arrives at Paul's house who is an author and has gone to France to publish his new book. Soon after reaching there, Elise finds Paul's 12-year-old son Marcus. He tells Elise that he had taken 1,000 pesetas from Paul's desk to hire a taxi from the airport to arrive at home. Then Marcus tells her about the outbreak of chickenpox. After meeting with his stepmother, Marcus develops an erotic attraction towards her. He asks Elise's age and finds that she is 22 years old whereas his father is 42 years old. Elise feels weird about Marcus when he calculates the age difference between his and hers. In the next scene, while Marcus is playing in the bathtub, Elise comes there and tells him that Paul is on the telephone. Paul asks Marcus about how his flight was and also about his health. Then, Marcus hands over the phone to Elise and while she talks to Paul, Marcus touches her in an inappropriate way. Elise feels uncomfortable so she hangs up the call and leaves the bathroom in anger. The next day, Elise wakes up and watches Marcus playing on the lawn. She calls him for breakfast but before that Marcus picks up some letters from the postbox outside their house. When he comes inside, he quickly hides one of the letters in his pocket. Elise asks him about the letter and she is told that it is a circular from Marcus's school. Later, Marcus goes swimming and when he comes back, Elise tries to ask him about the letter again that frustrates Marcus and he tells her that she sounds mysterious. After that, we see that Paul has returned from France and he meets Marcus and Sarah who have come to pick him up in the car. Back at home, Paul and Elise have a good time together while Marcus plays with his dog in the garden outside. Elise keeps watching Marcus and feels something weird about him. She asks Paul if Marcus has any friends. Paul tells her that Marcus has friends but he likes to be alone most of the time. He tells her that Sarah's death had broken him and so he needs love and care. Then, Paul tells Elise that they all are going to eat out tonight because Marcus loves to eat Chinese food. Next, we see that at lunch, Paul asks Elise if she has taken any money from his desk but Elise tells him that Marcus told her that he had taken some money to hire a taxi at the airport. Marcus does not admit what he had told Elise earlier. To avoid argument, Paul asks them to leave the matter. He tells them that the reason why he mentioned it is because he thought that the maid might have taken the money but Elise tells him that the maid can never take anything without asking because she is very honest. Elise searches for the money in Marcus's room but she finds the torn up letter from his boarding school. Later, Marcus and Paul play in the swimming pool where Marcus tells him that he thinks that Elise doesn't like him. That's why she has blamed him for stealing Paul's money. He also tells Paul that she has searched his room to find the money. Paul then talks to Elise and tells her that Marcus needs time to accept her as a part of the family. In the next scene, Elise visits Marcus's headmaster, Dr. Castle, who tells her that Marcus has been expelled from the school because of his bad activities. He tells her that Marcus used to watch couples intimating in the neighborhood around the school, drew erotic drawings and also killed a cat after torturing it. These horrifying incidents have compelled the headmaster to expel Marcus from the school. Elsie learns that Dr. Castle had sent the letter to call Paul for the meeting but Marcus destroyed it. Dr. Castle also tells her that Paul is aware of the incidents. He tells Elise that Marcus is insane and he should see a psychiatrist. Elise and Paul arrive at a woman named Sophie's house for a party. There, Elise learns that Sarah was Sophie's friend and that house was where Sarah, Paul and Marcus lived together. On their way back to home, Elise is frustrated at Paul for not telling her about that house. Paul tells her that he sold that house to Sophie because he wanted to move on with his life. Elise asks him to tell her about Sarah's death. Paul tells her that Sarah slipped in the bathtub after which she got a heart attack and died. Later at night, Paul finds his money back at his desk but Elise tells him that Marcus has kept it back. After that, Elise tells him about her meeting with Marcus's headmaster at the boarding school. Paul learns that Marcus has been expelled from the school but stays silent. He is reluctant to scold his son because he is too young to suffer any kind of punishment. Elise tells him that he cannot let go of all those complaints from the school like that. To this, Paul gets angry at her and tells her that she doesn't actually want to accept Marcus as her son. That's why she keeps checking his room and meets his headmaster at school. Elise becomes very disappointed after hearing such words from Paul. She tells him that she only wants to help Marcus and for that she needs to keep an eye on him. Later in bed, Paul tells Elise that Marcus found Sarah dead in the bathtub and then those incidents began at the boarding school. 
He tells her that Marcus needs time and love to become a normal kid again. Elise understands Paul's love for Marcus and Marcus's condition as a motherless child. She promises Paul that she will look after Marcus and will make him feel loved and supported. In the next scene, Elise goes into the attic and finds Sarah's belongings in an old trunk. She then goes to Marcus's room and tells him that Paul will be going to Paris again within a few days. She tells him that they can hang out while Paul is away but Marcus says that he wants to stay home. Elise then asks Marcus about the things she found in the old trunk in the attic but he refuses to accept that those are Sarah's clothes. She tells him that he can keep his mother's belongings in his room if he wants but Marcus doesn't show any interest. Marcus asks Elise if she knows about Sarah's accident, to which she says that Paul has never told her about any accident rather he has told her that Sarah got a heart attack. She insists Marcus tell her the truth but he says that she should ask her husband instead of him. Elise meets Sophie. They go to Sarah's grave where Elise asks about the accident of Sarah's death. She tells Sophie that both Paul and Marcus are not willing to tell her what actually happened to Sarah. Later, at Sophie's home, Elise learns that on Marcus's 10th birthday, Paul arranged a family party because Marcus didn't want a big celebration. Sarah went to take a bath where the electric heater's insulation had worn out and the current went through the water taps due to which she got electrocuted and died. She tells her that Sarah could have survived the electric shock but she was suffering from a heart disease which she kept hidden from everyone. Elise argues with Paul for not telling her the truth. He gets angry because he does not admit that Sarah's death was an accident. We see that Elise keeps arguing with Paul a lot of times which makes Paul start neglecting her. One morning, before Paul leaves for Paris, Elise gets drunk and asks Marcus about how he reacted when he found his mother dead in the bathtub. Marcus tells Elise that Sarah looked ridiculous when she was dead. While Paul is mowing the lawn, drunk Elise tries to get close to him but he avoids her. He then gets ready for his flight to Paris. Elise insists on dropping him to the airport but he refuses and tells her that she won't be able to drive in this condition. Elise cries while she watches Paul leaving for the airport in the taxi. After that, Elise goes into the attic again and finds a peephole under the floorboard. She finds that Marcus spies on her and Paul through that hole. She talks to Marcus who tells him that he loves hearing their personal conversations because they turn him on. He tells her that he even used to spy on Sarah but she wasn't as attractive as her. Elise asks him to tell him what actually happened to Sarah but he is only convinced when she takes off her clothes in front of him. She learns that it was only Marcus who knew about Sarah's heart condition because he had found a letter from her specialist. However, Elise realizes that Marcus is still not telling her the truth. She instantly calls Paul back from Paris. She takes him into the attic where she finds that the peephole she saw under the floorboard is now filled. Paul gets fed up with all her doubts about Marcus. He tells Elise that she probably needs to see a psychiatrist. In the next scene, Marcus learns that Paul has gone to Madrid to see Dr. Byron. He tells Elise that he killed his mother by dysfunctioning the electric heater and making her death seem like an accident. Then, we see that Elise gets a mental breakdown and tells Paul that Marcus will kill her. Elise then goes and meets Dr. Verwan and tells her everything she has noticed since she first met Marcus. Afterward, Paul finds Marcus's dog dead in the swimming pool and realizes that Marcus has killed it but he again takes no action. Elise explains everything to Dr. Byron but she doesn't believe her because she thinks those were only assumptions about Marcus and she had no proof for what she claimed about Marcus. Up next, we are shown that Elise is admitted to the mental hospital where she has panic attacks and has dreams of killing Marcus to save her own life. After some months, Elise is discharged from the mental hospital. Paul picks her up from the hospital and takes her to a park where Marcus is seen playing with his new dog that Paul gifted him on his birthday. Then, while Elise and Marcus walk alone in the park, Marcus tells her that he doesn't hate her anymore and he has also decided not to kill her. He then tells her that she can be with her instead of Paul because he is very old now. Elise smiles at him and talks in a way that pleases him. She tells him that they will murder Paul and live together happily. Marcus tells her that this is exactly what he has planned. Right then, Elise sees a car coming on the road and she takes the dog's toy to throw it on the road. As Marcus goes after his dog on the road, he is hit by the car and dies on the spot. Elise seems pretty satisfied as she watches him die and walks away. Thanks for watching guys.